So a question I'm often asked as a geologist is what is the difference between shale gas and natural gas? And the answer is there's actually no difference at all. So here we have some hills and then the land and then we draw down into the sea. Here's the top of the sea right here. And over time as the land gets eroded sediment and debris falls down and collects in the sea along with plant material and algae and plankton and other organic creatures which sink to the bottom of the sea. Over geological time these organic materials along with the sediments become compressed and buried over millions of years and they form organic rich rocks that we call shales. This organic material which is buried under a great weight of rock is heated up and put under a lot of pressure and that organic material generates into hydrocarbons first oil and then later with more pressure and more heat into gas some of these oils and gas will migrate upwards because of the pressure and weight of the rock above them and they collect in these lovely rocks that geologists term sandstones or limestones and these are the rocks that we've been drilling for the last hundred years or so to collect our oil and natural gas. But we've long known that a lot of the gas is still stored within the shale block rock below. And now with the combination of horizontal drilling and multi-stage fracturing, we have the techniques to get this gas out of the ground. So the gas in shale gas is actually the same as the natural gas that we've been using over the last century. It's just methane. And whether you get it from the shale rock or from the sandstone rock makes no difference. It's both natural gas.